Greetings in Christ, dear friends. I am Christopher Love, a 17th century preacher and minister of the gospel. My pastoral duties were carried out in the heart of London, and I held a steadfast Presbyterian conviction. During my lifetime, I authored numerous works that delved into the practical aspects of Christian living. My life took an unexpected turn due to my political inclinations and involvement in a plan, albeit falsely accused to raise funds for the restoration of the monarchy. This led to my arrest by Oliver Cromwell's forces, along with six other prominent London ministers, all of us Presbyterians. Among them the venerable Thomas Watson stood out. We were charged with treason, and although the others were eventually released after six months, I met a tragic end. A beheading on Tower Hill in London on August 22, 1651. I am happy today to speak to you about a volume that Puritan Publications has updated into modern English for you called The Christian's Duty and Safety in Evil Times. This work is especially rare, containing it the final sermons of my available works. The Christian has a number of duties to follow at Christ's command living in such evil days. The substance of these sermons is a wholesome and seasonable help to the walk that Christians have before God. I preached these sermons in my day to help Christians live lives holy to the Lord, that you would be a shining light manifested to the world as a disciple of King Jesus, showing forth the workings both of your heart and life, being zealously devoted to the service of Christ. In this volume I cover Christ's prayer which is the saint's support, from John 17 verse 15. A divine balance to weigh all doctrines, taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21. A Christian's great inquiry, taken from Acts 16 verses 30 to 31. And then, a description of true blessedness, on Luke chapter 11 verse 28. I'm excited to also inform you that Puritan Publications has added to this volume an extra sermon, by Westminster divine Edmund Callamy called, The Saints' Rest, or Their Happy Sleep in Death which is taken from Acts chapter 7 verse 60, a most helpful and encouraging message. Puritan Publications has made my work, along with many more of my books, accessible to you in more modern vernacular, in both ebook and printed formats. You can obtain this rare work through their website. I would encourage you to earnestly endeavour to make a spiritual improvement of all these topics which have been put by divine providence before you today, and let the Lord be magnified in your holy walk for all that sole advantage which you may receive from such a study. Labour to be well rooted in the truths of the gospel in order to bear up courageously against the evil of these deceiving times. Redeem the time, for the days are truly evil. And because so many shamefully disgrace their profession by their carnal self-seeking and apostasy, you should rather hold forth the power of godliness in the ways of self-denial and faith to the honour of Christ. May you be blessed in your holy endeavours in this for the glory of King Jesus. Amen.